Okay, boys and girls, in this video, we're going to look at graphing exponential functions based upon the transformations that we've sort of done all year long. So if we look at a function, this, that is an exponential form, what you see before you is a graph that is exponential. Notice how it starts off slowly and then it increases very quickly. And this is, it, this is what an exponential graph looks like. In this formula, just as we've done before, we have to look at x minus h as a parenthesis, okay? So what we've talked about before, what's in that parenthesis is gonna lie to you. Remember we talked about that? So h is the what we call a horizontal shift. It moves the graph left and right. K is a vertical shift, and it's going to move the graph up and down. If A is negative, just like we've done before, A is negative, it's going to be a reflection across the x-axis. And if the absolute value of A is greater than 1, it represents a vertical stretch. And if the absolute value is between 0 and 1, if it's a fraction less than 1, then it's going to be a vertical shrink. So, and if B, the base, is greater than 1, the function is increasing. If B, the base, uh, B has to be positive. And if it's between 0 and 1, you'll see that the function is decreasing. So let's look, talk about what the parent function, some characteristics of the parent function. The parent function looks like this. At y equals 2 to the x. The domain, if you notice in this graph above, there's no place where there's a gap or where it doesn't work, so the domain is going to be from negative infinity to infinity, or you could say all real numbers. The range, notice how this graph never goes below zero. So my range, my y values are going to be y is greater than zero. And it's increasing on its domain. That means that from negative infinity to infin infinity, the graph is increasing. The transformation function is what I've showed you above. So that transformation function is y is equal to a times b, parenthesis x minus h, close parenthesis, plus k. And it has zero solutions um, since it never crosses the y-axis, and that is the parent function. The parent function will have a asymptote of y equals 0. When we're looking at it, it's going to be y is greater than k. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's for the horizontal asymptote. I'm sorry, I thought that's what we're on. There is no vertical asymptote. If you, if you, um, Look at the graph above. There's no line that it just approaches and never touches. It keeps going on and on forever. And then for the horizontal asymptote, that's what I was saying before, y equals 0, or y is going to be greater than k. All right, so looking at what we've done before with transformations, we're just going to look at how the graph trans transforms using the equation. It's hard to tell how the gra graph transformed looking at the graph itself. Okay, so we have y equals 2 to the x minus 3. And so it's not written, but there's a plus 0 out there. So our horizontal asymptote is going to be y equal to 0. Because it's exponential, the domain is going to be negative infinity to infinity. The range is y is greater than zero, and we've already talked about the horizontal asymptote. 
So to describe the transformation, because it's x minus 3 is in parenthesis, we know parenthesis does the opposite of what we think. So that's going to be right 0. I'm sorry, right 3. And up and down 0, because k is 0. OK, let's try another one. My horizontal asymptote is going to be k. Oops, wrong one. I wanted that one, yeah. So my horizontal asymptote is always going to be greater than k. My domain is going to be all real numbers for each of these exponentials. So my range is going to be greater than that asymptote. And so for the transformation here, we moved up 1. because that one is outside of the parenthesis. All right, if you want to pause the video and try the next one, that will be great. Come back and I'll explain the answers. Okay, welcome back. So we can see that this is going to be the horizontal asymptote is going to be y is negative 1. The domain is all real numbers. The range is y is greater than negative 1. And this is move down one. OK? All righty, I think you have enough information to do the next six problems. So if you would, if you would just pause the video, do the next six, and then come back and see if your answers are correct. OK, welcome back. I'm just going to kind of write down um, those answers. So the first one, the next one, the horizontal asymptote is 2. The domain is all real numbers. The range is y is greater than 2. And the transformation would be right 3 up 2. 1, all real numbers. The range would be y is greater than 1. Transformation up 1 right to I hope this is making sense to you So we went up 6.5 uh, and then to the right. OK, and then finally, the horizontal asymptote is OK. So there's some confusion in my class. That's all in parentheses, and this will be plus 0. And this would just move left one half. Okie dokie, boys and girls, that's it for this video. Come back and watch um, how do we graph logarithmic functions.